Hi guys, hello, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be learning how to do a pocket tissue cover. So let's start. First, you need your yarn, your crochet hook that match with your yarn. So today I'm using a milk quarter yarn, five ply, and a size of three point five millimeters and a pair of scissors sewing needle and some stitch marker so let's start you start with a slip knot and then you're going to chain 23 so yarn over pull out the loop so one two three so continue until 23 chain now you have your 23 chain add one more chain then you're going to make a single crochet on your second chain from your hook so you're going to skip this chain and make a single crochet on this chain so insert your hook here over, pull out and yarn over, pull out two loops. So one, make another single crochet on the next stitch. Two, so you're going to be making one single crochet on each of the stitches until the end. So you continue later. After making all your single crochet, you're going to chain three so one two three turn your work and then you're going to make your v stitch so you're going to skip this stitch right here so you're going to make your v stitch on your stitch right here so you're going to skip this stitch and straight away on into the stitch right here so skip one stitch so the first stitch you have your chain three you're just going to ignore and skip the next stitch and double crochet on your next stitch right here one double crochet chain one and make one more double crochet inside the same stitch so that is your V stitch and then you're going to skip two stitch so you're going to skip this two stitch right here and this stitch right here so you're going to make your V stitch on the third stitch which is this one so yarn over and then insert your stitch your hook in the third stitch and chain one and another double crochet on the same stitch so you're going to continue making this V stitch until you have uh, three or four stitches left continue at the end here I am at my end here there is two stitch left so one and two so I'm going to make I'm going to skip this stitch and make one double crochet on the last stitch so yarn over insert inside the last stitch make sure you grab both loop so this is the front loop and this is the oops front loop and oops a bit tricky so careful front loop and then the back loop right here so make sure you grab both loops yarn over pull out two loops and another two loops so that is your first row of your V stitch so going to make chain three one two three 
now I'm going to do our second row after chain 3 turn your work and now we're going to make our V stitch inside the chain space remember we make chain 1 in between our double crochet so we're going to make our V stitch inside the chain space so one double crochet inside the chain space chain one and one double crochet inside the same chain space so that is your first V stitch your next V stitch is going to be inside this next chain space so your V stitch right here one double crochet chain one and one double crochet so continue making your V stitch until your last V stitch right here now you're going to make your final double crochet so you're going to make your double crochet on your third chain remember you made a chain 3 so going to insert your hook on the third chain right here so just make your one double crochet so now you have one row of single crochet and two rows of V stitch you're going to continue making the V stitch row until you have a total of 15 rows of V stitch so you continue until you're done with your 15 rows so I finished my 15 row of V stitch so total of 16 including your one row of your single crochet so then you can cut your yarn here so if you close your work then you can see that it fit nicely to the tissue pocket so now we're going to make a border so this is your first tail this is your first single crochet so we're going to continue make start our single crochet from this end so we're going to insert our hook on the last single crochet we made right here insert our yarn usually I make a uh, I tie the yarn okay, then we're going to make a single crochet all around our work so insert our hook grab our yarn and make our first chain so we're going to make one single crochet in this space and one single crochet in this space right here so insert your hook on over hook up one and then inside this space one single crochet and then the next space one single crochet and then we, the next one is right here so one single crochet so continue making your single crochet until here so we are at our uh, edge our border so now you're going to make one single crochet already made and then what add one more single crochet so you're going to have two single crochet at your uh, corner and then you're going to turn and make one single crochet in the first stitch here one single crochet and then you have your chain space so one single crochet and then you have your 
double crochet so one single crochet there and then another one right here so you're going to make one single crochet in the double crochet and one single crochet in the chain space and one single crochet in the double crochet so continue making your single crochet around until here you reach your corner then make one more single crochet right here and then one more inside the same space so we are going to this side so we did going to do exactly the same as this side so each single crochet one in the space and one in the small space so we already did two single crochet just now and one more single crochet in this space one more in this space right here and don't forget this one space one single crochet so continue making your single crochet until you reach your end right here so we reach the end and we make our last single crochet in this space right here one single crochet and a slip stitch at in here so chain one and you can cut your end so we're going to mark our center on this side so count one two three Seven and eight. So this is going to be our center. So the stitch right here is our center. And then on this side we do the same. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this stitch right here is our center. Turn over. Then we are going to close our work so it looks like an envelope. Then this tail we are just going to saw in between our stitches. So put in for a while and then we are going to combine this with this top stitch right here. So insert our stitch marker, this stitch, and this last stitch right here. So insert it through this stitch. So this is our first side. Do the same on this side. I'm going to insert to this stitch right here. There and then this final stitch right here. Next, we're going to close this side and this side with a slip stitch. So, we're going to insert our yarn on the last stitch right here. So, insert our hook here and then on the next stitch on top right here insert our yarn pull through and make a knot Oops. Okay, then we're going to make slip stitch so insert our hook same side 
thread all the way on and make chain one so start your slip stitch on your next stitch through the first loop and then to the second at the back grab your yarn and make your slip stitch so the next one this stitch and then the back side so make your slip stitch continue next one this stitch and the opposite stitch we reach our center so we're going to make a, a slip stitch on the stitch where we put our stitch marker so going to insert our hook right here take our stitch marker first for us to easily insert our hook so this is going to be you see the corner so the first stitch on top right here this stitch and then going to take the back stitch so the next stitch is this one then the last stitch this one so that we have three stitches take out all and slip stitch so the next stitch is right here and through the back slip stitch so continue your slip stitch until the end okay we do a long together just a few more stitches one and two so the final one we just threw all the stitches slip stitch and chain one so we can cut our tail so you're going to do the same as this side so the final step is to saw all your tail so there you have it your pocket tissue cover I hope you learned something from watching this tutorial don't forget to click the subscribe button below like and share this video see you again next tutorial bye